Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're just going to be tinkering around on the blazer. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, swap out the tail lights for the factory ones again because I cannot get these aftermarket ones to stop leaking. So I'm going to go ahead and swap them back out for the factory ones. We'll just tinker around, maybe try to get the uh, roof rack off the white blazer and go from there. But as you can see, the sky is pretty dark. Especially back through there. You can see the dark. it's pretty dark. So, we're going to try to get what we can done on the blazer and pretty much go from there. Hopefully the rain holds off. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to go ahead and take this tail light here out. And we're going to go ahead and put the factory ones back in because like I said, you can see you can see all the moisture that's inside of it. So they're not sealing right. So I'm going to go ahead and change them out for the factory ones again. Which kind of sucks because I do like these tail lights. Like you can see, you can see the moisture that's inside this tail light, and that's not good. So, we're going to go ahead and swap these out. I'm not going to be putting the uh, inside screws in because they're just a pain in the ass to get to. So I'm not going to be doing that. Alrighty, so here we are on the second, which is the passenger side one. So we're going to remove it. Which for those of you that don't know how to remove these, there will be a screw here, a screw here, which is a star bit, but I'm using an, a small Allen wrench when because I don't have the star bit for that. You will also have this kind of star bit here, these little small ones, and there will be one here and one here on the back side. Okay, so you'll have one screw here, one screw here, and then when you flip it over, there'll be a screw here and a screw here. But, whenever you do these two back screws, this whole piece right here is in the way. So basically, the reason why I use one of these bits here is because you can put, a, I think it's an 8 millimeter wrench on it. And then you can put it up in there, and then you can use the wrench to unloosen the screws. That's that's the easiest way I found to do it. So that's just a, a little tip for you guys. I mean, I'm sure there's probably another easier way, but that's how I found to do it.
Alrighty, so now that's done. I got the driver and passenger side done. Let's move on to something else, guys. Alrighty, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is I went ahead and painted this, this black piece here because that's going to be the piece that goes... It's going to be the piece that goes along the bottom here. So, we're going to have to rivet it. So I've got the rivet and the rivet gun. So, and then I've got the drill bit here too. We're going to have to wait until that dries. And then we're going to find out where to drill the holes at underneath. And then we'll put that on there once it dries and get it riveted in. So that's going to be the next thing we do. I got the tail lights in. I mean, yes, they are factory, but they look better than those other ones with the water in them. So, alrighty, guys. So I've got, I've already got the panel in. I went ahead and put it in there. There's a hole here, a hole here, and then there's two more holes down there. I'm going to drill, drill. I got to drill it out. I got to drill the holes out, and then put the rivets in, and rivet rivet it in I kind of wish that I wouldn't have painted it black but it was white before so I like the black better but I don't know I, whenever I go to paint the blazer I don't know what color I'm gonna paint that I don't know if I'm gonna paint it this color or the brown color I don't know yet alrighty so let's get these holes done So I'm going to have to go ahead and drill the holes, or mark the holes, where they need to be. And then take the panel back out. are drilled.
Okay. There's one. Alrighty guys, so I was able to get three of them in. Not going to be able to get the fourth in. So, three of them will do. I know you guys can see them, but let me show you. Alright, so I know you guys could see them before, but let me show you just in case. Here's one right there. And there's the panel. And then there's the other two right there. So, it does look a lot better, in my opinion. I mean, you can't see the gas tank or anything like that anymore. So, it definitely looks a lot better. But I'm still not sure what color I'm going to paint it, though. One of the next things I want to do is I want to get this, get this fixed. Which I've been debating on whether to take the molding off the side of the blazer and just leave it off but i don't know about that because whenever paint lines it kind of kind of covers them up so i might leave them on there but i definitely do want to get this fixed next and then go from there you know and then i got that little bit right there to fix uh a little bit right there and then a little bit on the driver's side as well. So, anyways, guys, I'll probably wrap this up because it's starting to get kind of dark. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, you know, as always, I appreciate you watching. Uh, and like I said, the next, the next thing we're going to do is start getting this done i want to cut that out and start making a piece for it so i can get it welded in start getting the body work done on that i'd love to be able to get started on this truck i'd love 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 to start getting the motor pulled out of it but i'm still looking for headers and mounts for the 350 that i'm putting in the truck so i don't know guys but, like I said, that's going to wrap this video up. I appreciate you watching. <laughs>